All right. Actually, while I'm here, I'm just going to make some uh, fried rice also because I have, have some leftover fried rice and I've had some random scraps in the fridge. Um, I'm already going to get this wok for heating because I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to be pretty fast with the prep here. Not too many ingredients in this one. Um, so I got my egg already there. I had all this pre-chopped onion and uh, poblano pepper. I don't remember what I had that from, but it was in here, so I'm using that. Um, here's a little bit of leek. Actually, Alicia, we'll be about five more minutes, okay? Yeah, you can do one more maze if you want. I'll call you when it's ready. All right, got some leek. This is some Canadian bacon. That's pretty good. Don't need all that, uh, all that onion and bolano. Um, here's a little carrot, a little carrot nub. being too precise with my cuts today. That's just fine. Mm, this one. Okay, so we got our oil preheating over there. Uh, just a few more minutes, Alicia. Away. All right, let's just actually go do this the easy way. Just shove everything all in at once. All right, this is smoking a little fresh oil in there. I'm doing a very sort of clean style. This is like almost like a Japanese style fried rice, which is generally has very few seasonings. And it's really much more about that clean fried rice texture. This is some leftover day old jasmine rice. Oh, let's get some of that poblano and onion in there. I won't use all of this. So you can always flavor this with whatever you want, um, any kind of ham you want, any you know pork product if you want. You can use other vegetables. You could add some garlic or ginger or scallions. Um, you know I have like I have a ton of fried rice recipes up on Serious Eats, um, www.seriouseats.com. I'll put a, actually I'll put a link in the description to some of the fried rice recipes I have. Um, this one is just kind of a wing in it based on stuff I have in the fridge version. Egg beaten up a little bit. We'll season it with some white pepper. Okay. In goes the rice. I'm gonna kind of break it up a little bit. Add a little salt, get some oil in there, and we're going to add our egg. 
This, by the way, is a carbon steel wok. Um, I've had it for, it's one of my oldest pans. I have no idea how long I've had it, actually. At least 15 years or so, something like that. Probably longer. I think I've said somewhere how long I've had it, but at least 15 years. I got it for like 20 bucks at a Target um, a while back. All right, let that egg set just a little bit, and then I'm gonna break it up and start tossing. Um, if you want to know um, how to get your carbon steel pans or your cast iron pans or your wok seasoned, um, the real trick is just cooking them a lot, um, especially sauteing and stir frying, deep frying. Um, anything that heats up oil in them repeatedly is gonna get them seasoned over time. And once they're nice and seasoned, they essentially become non-stick. So you can see I fried that egg and it's, you know, there's no, it's not stuck to the bottom at all. Um, you can fry an egg in here easily without it sticking. Um, and if your seasoning ever starts to wear out, um, like over here, there's a little bit of a chipped off, cracked bit. Um, I think that's because I accidentally left it on the heat for a long time. Um, it's fine, just keep cooking in it, in it and it'll get better with time. A little bit of white pepper. I'm gonna throw in some frozen peas because I know my daughter loves them and my wife, and my wife does too. Actually, I do too. I think frozen peas are great. Just throwing a touch of, just a touch of cilantro. See, I told you I don't just eat carbs and cheese. This isn't completely cheese-free. I wonder, I wonder how fried rice would be with cheese. Hmm. Uh -huh. All right. All right, Alisa, do you wanna go get mama? Tell her lunch is ready? And then come set the table, please. There we have some nice fridge scrap fried rice with eggs and Canadian bacon and leeks and carrots and frozen peas and poblano peppers and onions. And leftover day old jasmine rice, tasty as can be. All right, this you def can definitely have some. Sit. Good girl. All right, I'll see you later.